Yellowstone National Park by Serena Hingarani. Yellowstone National Park is located in Wyoming. Yellowstone is a big forest filled with geysers, hot springs, and other various features. Geysers are located all over Yellowstone. They shoot out hot water that is past boiling point. The water is past boiling point because of the magma and heat inside of the earth. When the water goes underground, it is heated. Geysers go off frequently. Geysers shoot out water because of the pressure built up below the surface, causing them to shoot out water. After the water is shot out, the water returns underground through the cracks near the geyser. There is a plumbing system under the geysers. This is a path for water and heat to go in and out. The system takes cool water down under to get heated, then moves it back up to the geyser. The reason geysers go off at different intervals is because of the pressure inside of the geysers. Most of the pressure is released when water shoots out. The pressure builds up again. You must wonder how the water underground stays liquid and at boiling point. Well, due to the pressure underground, the water stays liquid. Old Faithful is a very popular geyser. It is a regular geyser just like all the others. Old Faithful goes off about every hour. The Firehole River is a river filled with leftover water from the geysers. Some of the water from the geysers escapes and end up flowing in this river. Hot springs are a pool of scalding hot water. They release water vapor in the air. Hot springs get their color from minerals and organisms. The organisms in the spring are called extremophiles. The name means that the organisms can live in extreme heat. The biggest spring is the Grand Prismic. It is one of the biggest in the world. People love to see the view from a height. Paint pots are like hot springs, except the water is filled with acid. Unlike hot springs, the water bubbles. These are also called mud pots. They are found in Yellowstone. Not only are the paint pots filled with acid, they are filled with mud too. Yellowstone considers paint pots to be one of the most funniest geothermal features. In the winter, the snow in the water gets in the cracks and mixes with the acid. In the summer, the mud gets thicker. Thermophiles are a type of organism that can live in extreme heat. Thermophiles live in geysers and hot springs. In hot springs, thermophiles can make the water appear a certain color. Some of those colors are green and blue. Minerals can also affect the water color like thermophiles. Minerals are collected underground when the water is traveling up. Minerals like sulfur are collected and are in a hot spring. Sulfur turns the water yellow and with a little reflection, the water can turn green. A long time ago, Yellowstone National Park used to be a super massive volcano. The volcano was so big, when it erupted, half of the United States was covered in ashes. A couple of states were even covered in magma. This volcano was also called the Cahaldra. Now the volcano is dormant and lies under Yellowstone. The magma in the volcano helps heat the geysers and hot springs. Credits Yellowstone National Park References Mr. Closet's References Evernote